being a chaplain is purpose driven work. Brittany Varner is one of those who answered that call to serve. Over the past year, she says she's never felt a greater sense of purpose than she does now. I know it's difficult. Bringing comfort to people in distress during a pandemic comes with a new set of challenges for chaplains like Brittany Varner. We're literally covered from head to toe and you have to use your voice. You have to use your words, your your heart to convey your message to the patient. The Cone Health Chaplain for the Green Valley COVID Hospital says days can be tough. Patients feel isolated, unable to see family in person. Staff feel worn down, burnt out, even angry. And that comes from hurt. It comes from grief, from you know, losing patients, losing people. Varner wishes everyone could see and understand the gravity of the situation. It is heartbreaking to have to sit beside someone who is dying of an illness that is just wreaked havoc in our country. To hold their hand and know that their loved one can't be there in person to bring comfort. And of course, they never, ever die alone. As the virus rages on, healthcare workers continue to fight. Varner says stronger than ever. But take it from the frontline heroes. Please just listen to the personal stories of nurses and the doctors and the chaplains. Those of us who are at these bedsides and with these people and we're seeing them die and struggle and suffer. She says there are miracles and successes and while they celebrate the victories, there aren't nearly enough. In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.